Okay, Addis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Sino CMP or Sino CMP Digital Hydraulic Tests Kit. This is a promotional product. They did send it to me for free, but no other financial sponsorship. And when they contacted me and sent the offer, I said, one, it's kind of an interesting company because what they are is they sell a bunch of kind of specialty parts, mainly electrical, but with some sensors and fuel pumps and stuff for heavy equipment. Although hydraulic test kits are used, it can be used anywhere where there's hydraulics, millwrights, and all that kind of stuff. These types of sets are really are for heavy equipment. Part of the reason why this comes with 24 different adapters is they just are all these different little fittings to fit all the different little hydraulic ports. And it's one of the most unfortunate things in industry is the fact that there is not a whole there's semi-standardization among hydraulic parts, but unfortunately there is literally dozens and dozens of different types of hydraulic fittings, um, which is just really, really unfortunate. So we just have all these different size fittings to fit all these various different hydraulic ports that you'll have on Caterpillar, Hitachi, Takauchi, John Deere, Case, not to mention a lot of hydraulics and farm equipment. So these types of kits are just used, they are just simply gauges. I did do a review of a more simple Viver type set that was an analog gauge set like this. That only had a few different fittings in it. I will probably end up selling this and passing this on just because I don't do a lot of hydraulic troubleshooting. They had two different grades of the set. They had one set with these digital gauges and another set with the more ruggedized ones. It is pretty expensive. Right around a little above $400 and I think a lot of that has to do with these digital gauges. Now these gauges do have, and I should show in the manual here, that they do have a, a bar graph. And so just like on multimeters, the idea is that the bar graph it's supposed to be like an analog gauge where in the situations where you have pulsing or intermittent hydraulic pressure or are rapidly changing, you can see the needle jiggle or move back and forth quickly. So the idea with, just like on a multimeter once again, this bar graph is that you can see pressure resonance, pressure spikes. Although with the digital gauge, I mean, it does offer some advantages, like one, being able to have a display in whatever units you want it to. In this case, having a backlight, which is also quite handy, and the fact that it can do min and max settings. And part of the reason like these digital gauges are expensive is because they have these expensive electronic pressure transducers. Pretty easy to see gauge, even at, well, I have it in the dark there, but even at a variety of angles and at pretty steep angles, so they at least did put in a pretty good display. Although the head on these is just huge because it's an electronic system. It does use three AAA batteries, which in this case uh, I totally approve of just because dealing with a rechargeable system and lithium ion and a service tool, you just want to have normal batteries that you can just pop in and out with your convenience. So you may be wondering on these fittings here that they have this other side. And so the way these fittings work is when you screw them in, they're actually one-way valves. So you screw these fittings in and they won't leak until you actually connect, well, you connect them to one of the sets of hoses here. And these are test whip hoses and they're actually rated for 1600 bar. That would be eh, 23,000 PSI. So double the work, maximum working pressure, which would be 10,000 PSI. And so you have one fitting that screws into the hose. Actually, that would be this side that screws into the hose. This goes into the cylinder or pump. This goes into one end of the hose and then the gauge goes into the other. Many of these sets include T fittings because you don't want to do just a direct measurement, unhook the hydraulic hose and hook up a pressure gauge. You just want to monitor. And so there are several sets which are, they just charge you more to include T fittings or you have to get like a whole set of T fittings. Another thing is these whips are, they're about three feet long. And so in some situations that would be it would be pretty short. For most situations, it's absolutely fine, but there's also many situations in which where you have to hook up the gauge and then where you need to activate the hydraulics is quite a distance. 
and I was looking up some YouTube videos, and there are many people who have put together uh, 20 and 30 foot long versions of these whips here, uh, just so they could have a gauge and a position that they can see, such as from the cab of the excavator while you have it hooked up to some hose, trying to troubleshoot whether you have a low hydraulic pressure or a leak or something like that. And that's always been the Achilles heels. And the reason they come with multiple gauges is in this case what you have is we have two 10,000 PSI gauges and a 2,000 PSI or 2,300 PSI gauge. Because many times you need to take two simultaneous readings at the same time. So as far as a company that sells excavator parts, it makes sense that, or heavy equipment parts, that they're selling a test kit like this. It is a pretty comprehensive one. Um, it is a Chinese set, and yeah, I've definitely seen this uh, a bit cheaper other places, but you know, for the kind of parts that they're selling, it's actually not totally out of line. There are super, you know, super high grade professional ones, but they can run several thousand dollars and they have a like every kind of fitting. The nice thing about this one is it includes 24 fittings, so we have just so many sizes from huge down to what's really surprising is that there's just some really really tiny little hydraulic fittings that are out there so and even include some of these uh a couple different forms of quick release style fittings if i can dig them out here such as these these are i've seen these before those are pretty common and they can be used in odd situations too you know there are things called porter powers which are like uh, portable utility hydraulic pistons they usually have a long kind of floor pump and then a piston which you can uh, you know they may be used in chassis straightening and that type of stuff so there's a lot of like manual hydraulic pumps where you're like uh, it doesn't seem to be working as well as it used to and you can use a set like this to determine if it's actually achieving the proper pressures or if you have an internal leakage issue so there's you know definitely a few different situations one thing to make a note and uh and I guess I didn't mention that with my previous Viver, is these hydraulic gauges can also be used with air, I believe even water, we'll have to double check, to, or I'll have to double check to make sure that these are water compatible, but many times these gauges can be used with a variety of fluids and gases, not just hydraulic fluids. So that also increases their usefulness. And the second reason they include different ranges is just because a gauge that's set up to read 10,000 PSI just isn't going to do very well reading very small values, maybe 10 to 100 PSI. It's just too fine of an increment for something that's made to take such a high amount of pressure, so they include lower pressure versions to give you that extra detail at and under lower pressure situations. And this is a decent case. So overall, uh, I think the product is okay. It's expensive. But not outrageous considering uh, what it is in the markets that they're intending for, which is industrial repair and maintenance. Other than that, you know, obligatory piece of foam that's just to keep the hoses from uh, beating up the gauges. And as far as how this case is, overall, it's all right. We can tell that they just haven't been selling a whole lot of these because, you know, we have corrosion on some of the fasteners. Some so this has definitely experienced some actually corrosion on quite a few of them. So this has been experiencing some uh, resting time at the warehouse. And so I can see why. And they apparently contacted my channel because I did do so many tool reviews and probably saw that I had done another one, uh, review of a similar set from Viver. So I really appreciate them uh, sending me this kit. It's probably something I'm going to end up moving on. Or selling for a few extra bucks as I do with a lot of promotional products as I'll make the promotional video and since I don't do sponsorships I get a you know a little bit of money for uh, you know some things I keep and some things I once again I move on to the next person anyway it's a cool uh, test kit and it's just a, a bit more comprehensive than more standard ones just because you inc it includes uh, a bunch more adapt or fittings and in many situations the digital gauges are very handy especially for being able to do com pressure conversion once again uh, peak hold and that type of stuff 
and it's nice that they have that little uh, bar graph. So it makes them pretty competitive against an analog set, but you'd still always want to have an analog set to go along with the digital. Anyway, really appreciate you all watching. See you next time.